played so much Back for Blood. I only have uh, like 50 something plus hours and it. it's only been a week. It's been 50 hours. But I'm sure as much as I've been playing this game legitimately and slowly working my way through all of the supply lines, I know there's a lot of people who don't want to do that. It's been a long time. Uh, I've only really finished one supply line. I'm on the last row of this one and almost on the last row on the top one. So this quick guide is going to show you how to get it's hidden behind the mouse. Don't worry about that. How to farm supply points. You've probably seen this going around. Uh, and it's the fastest way. It's the quickest way. Um, and this is the speedrunner strats because don't let everyone else is uh, bad and they don't they don't know the true secrets. Specifically, what we're going to be doing is we have built a deck. That is all explosive damage. It's literally just as many and as powerful explosives as you possibly can do. And we would be playing, if you have, act, if you have like uh, the higher difficulties, I mean, technically you would make more supply points by doing it. I haven't actually gotten to like Nightmare or Veteran. Uh, I'm at halfway through Act 2 on Veteran. So, uh, but what you want to do is on Act 2, you're going to select the starting point, Heralds of the Worm. This mission right here, all the entire mission is is kill an ogre, get to the end. That's the whole mission. So, how do you kill the ogre really quick? Well, if you come up with your deck, you get a few supply points. You're, you're going to have to unlock a few things. You can't actually just farm the mission as is. There's a giant minigun on the mission. You can hop on the minigun and just use that to fight your way through. Or, you can have your boom deck set up. So, I personally, this is the deck I use for it. I would recommend pretty much you're going to need all of these cards... Uh, you don't necessarily, there's, uh, explosives don't do weak spot damage, so you don't need this one. I, I just have this on so that you will be able to see how much damage I'm able to chunk the ogre. Uh, mutations, and I'll, I'll do a run through so you'll see it. I do have this one, so if you highlight a mutation, it just takes 10% damage to your entire team. It's free 10% damage. But then you have de Demolitions Expert, 50% accessory damage, don't care about ammo, Improvise Explosives, more accessory damage. Who cares about swap speed? We're using grenades. Grenade training. More accessory damage. Then explosive damage and resistance. No negative effect. And then you just have a bunch of, hey, grenade pouches that uh, give you more. You do get minus 10 damage, but two grenades outweigh 10 damage. Just throw an extra grenade and you'll make up the damage difference. Uh, and then another, you lose 10 health, but your entire team gets another offensive inventory. And if everyone is running this, you can have like... 12 grenades between uh like on just you and then i have some extra just speed one as just kind of to get you through the level even quicker because it's a speed run so this one just allows your entire team to go uh 50 faster out the door this gives you more movement speed but you do lose accuracy you're not going to be shooting guns so who cares and then i do have glass cannon for a little extra damage you don't really get to these anyways and then this one uh as the same time and then the other two not needed but maybe if you have some later ones, which you just helps you. I'm thinking about using this as a nightmare deck for literally the very final mission in the game. I gotta test it. But if you have four people running this deck, you could insta-kill the final boss. So, um, gotta test it though. And then this, just in case mutations die, you just get an extra stacking 1% damage. Why not? You could use that stamina, anything like that. But the main ones are just explosive damage. From there... Like I said, all you do is start up a run. You can do it on whatever difficulty you're ready for. Act 2, Heralds of the Worm. And you're going to search a, mat, a little, little mission here. And I'm going to cut so that I'll be in the game so you don't have to sit here and watch. And you should do this with the team and not with randoms so that they actually understand what you're doing. Although it seems like everyone who is playing this mission is doing the exact same thing. So... Everyone already knows this is how you farm supply points. You'll get 50-ish supply points every, every, well, you get, you'll get anywhere from 24 to 44. If you're able to complete the secondary objective during it, you'll get bonus ones and that will get you that, those extra points. But sometimes it's like, you got to find the specimen container and maybe you don't want to waste your time. You can just take the extra two minutes, find a specimen container and do it. But there's a secret. Everyone already knows. If you, you've heard, you're like, bro, I've watched this video. I know it. You're right. You might already know. If you don't know, I'll show you it. Now, you're going to want to play Hoffman. Hoffman's uh, also gives one extra accessory damage. I would also recommend Walker uh, or someone like Holly who gives the team stamina. Walker gets just 10% damage. So, but this one, luckily we just got one dude here. I guess I could have done solo, huh? I probably should have done solo. That probably, instead of playing online. 
well, I'm going to get supply points anyways. So we got specimen. So we're going to have to find it, and it's a timed one, but you do see you get 10 supply points for getting it. So you're going to try and do it. You get all your starting cards. As I said, you don't need knowledge's power. It's just here to show you how much damage I'm about to do here. So explosive damage, offense, there's one, this one, and then I also like the speed. So we're going to do that one. And right off the bat, we're gonna, if we see any, if we get any offensive upgrades, definitely buy those. That just makes it go quicker. You'll see I have seven grenades. Frag grenades are the most overpowered thing in this game. They're insane. So you're gonna come here. Now, as I said, if you don't have these cards yet, a backup is hop on this minigun. Just hop on the minigun and you can do this the same way. It'll just take an extra second. Right, I'm going to try and look for the specimen container as we go. But, here's the guy. One, two, and he's dead. That's it. That was the whole thing. And there's the specimen container. I'm going to grab that. I don't really care, Evangeli. You can be pinned. And there we go. Specimen container a lot of times does spawn in that little doorway. So, that's the whole mission. We did it. You saw it. You didn't even get to see how much health I had the ability. You didn't even get to see it. The ogre hadn't even spawned in yet. There it is. Now, a lot of people, as soon as you hit the continue, completed, sorry, as soon as you hit completed, you can leave the game. Go ahead, leave the game. Or, like this guy did, he knows what's up. Oh, no, he, he didn't leave. He just said GG. But, I got a secret. It turns out. There you go, he left. He doesn't know the secret. 34 supply points. Two minutes, once you have the deck set up. The next mission is just as fast. A lot of people don't understand. If you already have a deck set up for Boom, if you don't have a deck set up, you might struggle a little bit. It's still a pretty easy mission. This one is the exact same scenario. You just have to kill an Ogre and a Breaker. So you have to kill two mutations instead of one, but you have to go a shorter distance. So you'll watch, you'll watch what happens here. I'm going to do this one here. Um... But, so between the two, you can get around 70 supply points in just a few minutes. And this way, you don't have to wait in all the load screens and menus and finding matches and stuff like that. You can do this solo, and uh, if you, you know, if people leave, you're able to do this next one just kind of by yourself. So. But what you want to do is you're going to run all the way down here, and it will spawn an ogre. And honestly, the bots are amazing. They just do all the work for you. I got here before it could even spawn the ogre. It literally, does, the game doesn't even know what to do right now. I think I, did I break the game? There it is. All right, ogre spawned in the back. He's going to spawn somewhere. Now you can really see how much damage I'm about to do. Hey, Ogre, how you doing? There it is. Two grenades. That's the third grenade. He's dead. And then here's the breaker. Where's the breaker? Oh, that didn't work out. That's fine. See, you got bots to heal you up. Are oh, you gonna heal me? You gonna heal me? You wanna you wanna you wanna heal me? They don't wanna heal me. Thanks, Doc. Hey, there's the breaker. It's dead. Well, that took a little longer. Apologize. Good video. Top ten guide, ten out of ten, best guide in the world. But we also completed the other secondary objective, so. That's it. I mean, don't go down. Again, if you have other people, typically your other friends can help shoot. If, you, if you're carrying people who don't have the deck, they can be the kind of protector. They can have pipe bombs. Use those instead. Uh, I didn't get the best spawns. You can get the Ogre and Breaker to spawn literally right in front of you when you get over there. And then you can just nade and go. There you go. I just made 90 supply points in about five minutes. And it's just that simple. And then after that, leave game. Restart and Halo's part one. That's the whole guide. Done. You get the, the mission accomplished. That's the thing. Yay.
Bye.